everyone. Thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise. I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm here to bring you a wig comparison in partnership with Name Brand Wigs. They get asked all the time, how does Well Played compare to Watch Me Wow? So in this video, I'm going to compare the two of them. They're not really the same, but since the question comes up, I'm going to compare them. If you'd like to know more and see both of these in two dark brown colors, then stick around. I love partnering with Name Brand Wigs. I think they're a wonderful online retailer. I've been a customer since the very beginning of my wig wearing journey, and I really, really do appreciate partnering with them. This is going to be a fun comparison, and I'm going to compare these two Raquel Welch styles. So to reiterate, the one on my head is called Well Played. This has heat-friendly synthetic fibers, a lace front, a left mono part, and is darling. This one, and I'll throw it on in a moment, is called Watch Me Wow. This one has regular synthetic fibers, a lace front, only a mono crown, no mono part, and a little bit of a fringe. The price point between these two is about $90 different. This one is about $90 more than this one, but they're actually both really reasonably priced for high quality Raquel Welch synthetic wigs. So I'm really appreciative of that, but I wanted to be able to give you guys sort of the overall scope. Well played is about, I would consider this one three, three-ish inches longer than Watch Me Wow. There are some similar measurements and you can compare them both online, but I would say that this one is longer with more pronounced long layers than the Watch Me Wow, which is less layered, whoops, I'm losing my grip on this one, less layered and shorter. All right, now I am going to be reviewing both of these pieces. I do not have reviews out yet. This comparison is coming out before the reviews. I would like you to look in the description if, you know, if you're not getting this when it first is released, because I'll try to get those reviews out as soon as possible. If they're out, I will link them in the description. So if you don't see them linked, that just means those reviews aren't out yet and I'll get them out as soon as I can. But there was a deadline for me to hit with this comparison and I want to make sure I hit that. Now, for yep. those of you who cut bangs in all of your wigs, and I hear this all the time, this one, again, it's well played can absolutely have a bang cut. It just doesn't really have any kind of a fringe. But if you are looking for bangs, but you don't really want Watch Me Wow, maybe because you like heat friendly fibers or because you want that mono part, then Well Played could be a great option for you. It's a, just a beautiful density. I think it lays beautifully. I heard from a number of you guys when I posted on um, Instagram a quick video of that piece, I heard from so many of you that said you love uh, Well Played. It's one of your go-tos, um, your favorite wigs. So I know that it has a huge following. So here is Watch Me Wow. Comb through it here. So you can see right away in the very, just from the get-go, this one has that fringe in the front. Now, it's too long to be a full bang on me. So I would need to trim it up. If I want it to lay sort of side swept, I'm having just a little bit of issue. I would just need to take a little heat to it. A little steam will get that to lay where I want it to lay since this isn't heat friendly. There is that lace front. So we've got a lace front on both of these. So you could pull the hair up off of the lace front if that bang is getting in your way. You can just take a clip or a bobby pin and pull it up because you do have a lace front. One of the biggest differences when it comes to how natural a lace front looks on Raquel Welch wigs, I'm just trying to get these to lay right, like I said, they need a little steam, is these darker colors, oftentimes on any synthetic wig, when you have a dark color like this, you can often see the knots on that lace front, which I just showed you. But if you get a slightly highlighted piece like this one, then you can't because they take that light color and they pull it all the way up to the front to hide those dark knots. So I'm going to give you a quick color comparison here, but let me sort of summarize the differences between these styles. First of all, the fringe. Second of all, the length. So well played has no fringe and it's about three inch longer length than Watch Me Wow. The parting space is different 
and this one does have permatease to give it just a little bit of volume on the top it's not heavy permatease this one doesn't have any so it's relatively flat and then you know the fibers difference and the price difference let's talk about these colors and I'm happy to answer questions stay tuned for my full reviews all right let's talk about color this one is R4 Midnight Brown. This one is R4 slash 10 SS. So basically it's this color with highlighting. Which gives it a much lighter appearance. I mean, look at the difference, you guys. That 10 in here makes a huge difference. And I'm gonna show you that lace front one more time. So you can see that. And I'm gonna put pictures on the end of this so you can see them side by side from the front and from the back. Get this one on. It's, it's quite a bit heavier than the other one too. This one is 6.2 ounces, whereas the other one is 4.25. So almost two ounces different. There you go. So if you can do highlighted dark browns. Now, obviously you guys, this looks a lot lighter because of that 10, but the base is the same. So if you struggle with visible knots, you can always put face powder on them to hide them. I have videos showing you how to do that. Another option would be, especially in the Raquel Welch line, get one that has a highlight to it, like this one, and then they will bring that highlight up front and that will hide those knots. Another option would be to, to take this color and have it be your summer color, and then in the winter, transition to the straight R4 without the highlights. That's another way to play the wig game. All right, everybody, I hope that this helped. I hope that maybe you learned something new about these wigs that you didn't know. If you'd like to know more about them, stay tuned for my full reviews. If you'd like to check them out at the Name Brand Wigs website, the links are in the description. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll talk to you in my next video.